structural design of RCC building is very important as it ensures the safety, durability and structural soundness of the building. It provides the crucial information about the foundations, walls, floors, roofs, beams, material quality and many more. Structural design also confirms that the structure complies with all necessary safety requirements and design codes. In this video series, we will learn the complete procedure of RCC structural design using a live project of two-storied building plan as shown here. So watch this video till the end, subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of new videos of this course. So let us start with the information required before starting the structural design. First of all, we required architectural drawing of the building, which includes plan, elevation, section with plot boundary and all the dimensions. The soft copy of these drawings are always preferable. If hard copy is available, then better to convert it to the CAD file. This will be helpful in marking size, orientation and placement of various structural elements on the architectural drawing. It is also useful in drafting of the structural drawings. Next, we required the wall data. This includes the thickness and material used for the external and internal walls. Generally, this data is given in architectural drawings. If not given, then get it from the architect or client. This data is required in the calculation of wall load. Next, we need to know the type of staircase, its riser and tread dimensions. Next, we required the location, placement, capacity and material of the water tank. If this data is not available in the drawing, then get it from the architect or client. This data is useful in load calculations. We also need to know the safe bearing capacity of soil at site for the foundation design. The SBC of soil will be obtained from the soil data or field test. If it is not available for the proposed site, then it can be taken from the adjacent construction site data if available. However, in the absence of soil data or field test, the SBC values shown here can be used as a guide for preliminary analysis for unimportant and lightly loaded structures only. But keep in mind that the universally applicable values of safe bearing capacity cannot be given. Hence, it is always advisable to get the safe bearing capacity of a soil by proper geotechnical investigation from the expert. The process of structural design is divided into four steps. First, structural planning. Second, analysis of structure. Third, design of structural member. And fourth, preparation of structural drawings. Now, let us know what structural planning step includes. It includes positioning, orientation and initial sizing of the column. Similarly, positioning and initial sizing of the beams and spanning of floor or roof slabs. It is always preferable to confirm the position, orientation and initial sizes of the columns and beams from the concern architect or client before moving ahead. Let us move to second step that is analysis of structure. This step will be started with load calculations which includes the live load on the floor and roof slab. IS875 part 2 gives the live or imposed load values. Table 1 gives the live load on floor for different occupancies while Table 2 gives the live load for various types of roof. Next, we need to find the dead load of walls on the beams. Next, we required to calculate the water tank load on the roof slab. It depends on the type 
and material of the tank. We also need to consider any other loading coming on the structure in the load calculations. Next step in analysis of structure is mathematical modeling and analysis of building in structural analysis and design software. There are many softwares available for this purpose. Out of these, StatPro and ETAB are widely used. Third step involved in the structural design process is RCC design of the members. Generally, this includes design of foundation, design of column, design of beam, design of floor and roof slab, design of staircase, design of concrete wall for the lift and RCC water tank if available and any other special member. The design of these elements can be performed by manual computation, spreadsheet or commercial structural analysis and design programs like StatPro, ETAPS, SAFE, STAT Foundation, etc. Many times designers prefer their own developed spreadsheet for the RCC design. Finally, in the last step, we have to develop the structural drawings. Drawings can be developed manually or using computer-aided drafting softwares like AutoCAD. This includes foundation plan, plinth or ground beam plan with the staircase details, floor or roof level beam plans, lintel beam level plans, and any other key item details in the drawing. In next video, we will start with the fourth step of structural design, that is structural planning. There, we will learn how to decide the location, size and orientation of the columns. So, to get the notification of the video, subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. And don't forget to like, share and comment the video.